thanks for joining me again for another episode of Let's Grill This. Yeehaw! And today we're gonna do another one of my favorite, actually this is my favorite dessert item that we can make on the egg, and this is bourbon infused grilled pineapple. So, what we're gonna do first is show you how to prep the pineapple, which is pretty straightforward. There's a few tips in it that we're gonna talk about as we go, but then we're gonna show you how to cook it as well. So, before we even start the prep work, you wanna get the big green egg fired up, get that baby ripping. We're gonna want it between four and 450. That's the optimum prime temperature because we're not actually cooking the pineapple. What we're doing is trying to get that crust on it. First thing we're gonna do is take a pineapple and we're not going to cut our fingers off. Ah! So you take this, set that to the side. Now we have the bulk of our pineapple again. Take this piece, cut the bottom off, give it to the dog. Once the pineapple is kind of cubed, all we're going to do, just like a normal pineapple prep would be, is we're going to cut the edges off. So as you can see, the pineapple is a little rough, but it's going to be good. Don't drop it. We'll throw the garbage away. Bada bing, bada boom. So we got that all set. Uh, now. Most people go wrong here and they decide they want to core the pineapple. You don't need to do that. The coring of the pineapple is 100% not necessary for what we're doing. We're going to cut these roughly three quarters of an inch. You don't want to cut them too thin because if you do, um, you'll have a problem when you go to grill them. Once we've got the pineapples cut, Holy moly, these things are slippery. Once you have those cut, we are now going to infuse them. And we use just something off the shelf that we could find. <laughs> just kidding. We actually are using good whiskey. Uh, there's a reason why. If you, The stronger or better the bourbon, uh, you'll actually notice that uh, it has more of that bourbon-y flavor. If you use cheap stuff, when you go to cook it, that stuff disappears almost immediately. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna put just a little on here, drizzle it, and um, mm, just make sure it's good, it's safe. All right, so once we have this all set, we're gonna let these marinate uh, just for a couple minutes on each side, okay? And we'll see you in the future. All right, we're back. Now that these have been marinating for about 10 minutes, we're going to place brown sugar on them. and. Uh, this gets a little messy, so I like to do it outside, talk to my wife. She'll tell you divorces three and four were because of cooking in the kitchen. So um, they make light and dark brown sugar. I always go with the dark brown. It's just more molasses, molasses flavor to it once it starts to cook up. Um, and I think it's a little clumpier, stickier. It seems to work slightly better. So what we're gonna do with this is we're actually gonna take it in the palm of our hands and we're actually going to kind of press it onto the pineapple. And I'll hold this up so you can see the way that looks. The reason why we're giving such a large layer to this is this stuff is gonna just melt off once we stick it in the egg. So we're gonna do this to all these pieces of pineapple. Now remember what caramel is, is melted sugar. So when we put this on a really hot egg, it's gonna start melting almost immediately and we by, by kind of giving this a little bit of a uh, heavy duty coating on it, it's gonna allow it to stick a little longer in the egg. All right, our egg looks like it's up to temperature. Let's go over here and put it on the grill. All right, now we've got this grilled cranking. We're at 450. We're gonna actually take the pineapple and you gotta be careful with this because sugar burns and it really hurts. Um, as well as alcohol that's flammable. Oh. I wish we had smell-o-vision, because this smells delicious. Now we're gonna close the egg and we're gonna let this cook maybe two and a half to three minutes. You just gotta kinda be the judge. All right, what we're going for is that charcoal, caramelized, crusty goodness situation. And we're very close to that now. I let the pineapple sit a couple more minutes just um, where we are. When we open this egg, we wanna be really, really careful because it's hot. So you, you have an indication that it's could create a potential backdraft, no pun intended, um, when the smoke comes out. So you just let it sit for a minute until the uh, smoke neutralizes and then we're good. 
So now I'm looking at these pineapples and they are looking mighty, mighty tasty. What I do is I use the reserve bourbon pineapple brown sugar mixture that we had before. And I usually take the, them off the grill and set them into there. You gotta work quick again. It is a very hot situation with the brown sugar. Now, once we're done with this to plate it, uh, we're using the finest plastic cut cutlery, but we're gonna take one of these and you, you're gonna notice again that they cut fairly easy. And the core is actually just fine. It's not all chewy. And what I like to do is I actually like to take a little bit of that mixture and drizzle it in there. So that's what we're looking at. Boom. So if you like this recipe, please uh, throw me a like, uh, a su subscribe or a comment on the bottom. It really helps me out. And as they say up in Canada, bon appetit. <laughs>